everyone, it's another for a new tutorial. Today uh, I will be showing you how to install the Pumper Cockpit for the 777 in XPlay 11, how to get it working. Because uh, I know a lot of... Um, I know that uh, in YouTube I, I, and uh, Twitch and a lot of stuff I, I've, I've seen a lot of 777 flight videos. Enjoy. I enjoyed them, but they saw that the cock but they didn't showcase the bumper cockpit because, um, well, it hasn't been updated from for uh, the new the ne new versions of the triple seven. In fact, it doesn't. It hasn't been updated since uh, two thousand and fifteen, I guess. If I'm if I'm right, and uh, it doesn't work properly in, in some in Explain 11, but I will sh show you how to install it and get it working. So first you uh, you have uh, already a 777. Right, yeah, so uh, with all the files. So, well, I'm going to show you how to install it. So if you just duplicate the 777 just for the just for the need of the video, so I will say go to some demo the cockpit. I will, I, will, I will rename it like that. So, and first thing you want to do is to take the to well take the pumper cockpit. Because I just remain proper triple seven cockpit just because I'm it's on my files that it's better for it's much better for for me to recognize if which um, if it it's more clear for me when because I and that is into a, a folder and so I can find it easily if needed. So first open the two folders you will take first thing you wanna do is do this. So the the installation is not the, is uh, quite similar to when to when uh, you add it in use it in X plan ten. You just have to well first I've added some other files that were right them I added them. at least uh, for you you don't need sounds or pumper change lock you don't need that you can so I just installed main point let and main point pnl pn main lit point lit main point png panel lit panel png panel lit panel pn that PNG. So that's all the files you will install. That's the, and the, and then you will open Cockpit three D. Go to panel. Well, three D panel. We replace like that. Panels point PNG. Just follow my steps and. If it's if it's in a primary, so don't repl so do exactly as I say because as I'm do and as I'm doing because it's not very easy to install it, and then so I've I'm am I done with yeah I'm done with copy three D so I can delete it. Custom avionics. Images go to images. So don't so don't do that mistake because uh, however everything will fuck up. Fuck, fuck, fuck up. So it will be not doing very well. Replace you will replace the file so custom avionics you are done with that and then copy all the and then place all the files that in are in the object folders of the your pumper cockpit pumper mode <laughs> I would say 
uh, into your object folder of your triple seven. You, you replace them, and you are also done with objects. So now we are. Well, now it's time for them. Where um, it is, uh, it makes that cockpit working for X plane eleven. So we will delete all that point ACF files in the pumper cockpit because it won't, um, it won't work for sure in um, in X plane eleven. So first, you will do is for example, you you have two percent v underscore v ten the underscore copy underscore and that object you will rename it triple seven two hundred error xp eleven cockpit and then that object I won't say the underscore because it's quite hard for me for the two hundred yeah you just have to rename it XP il replace V10 by XP11. This is the easiest. This one of the well, it's it's a simple trick. It's a simple trick. So it will replace 300 V 300 V10 copy and then that object into 300 XP11 copy and then that object replace you replace and rename triple seven cargo I do the same thing but for cargo you will have to rename triple seven cargo into triple seven f that's how it's named here it here you have it now you have a boom files installed and just uh, place it to the trash. I don't need it. And uh, oh, yeah, I will first be replacing my triple seven, which already has a proper cockpit. I installed it the same way, but to make you see that it is uh, you have done well, good done done the you have done the good steps. To install the pumper cockpit, I will I will uh, use um, the oh the triple seven which I installed the cockpit just for this video. The demo triple seven. And you will say any triple seven, for example, two hundred alarm. Will load After I will explain uh, the changes, um, all the changes that uh, happened when you install the pumper files into your triple seven. Well, the loading page is not very that different from 
from the version without pumper cockpit it's it's basically the same aircraft so first so we ignore the problem with scenery it has nothing to do with the plane so first you will see that there were other minor problems the passing with the air config well you using the, this cockpit in X-Plane 11 you can't use VR that's normal but it it works fine I already on uh, long flights with it so don't worry so basically nothing changed at the exterior but some wrong key we are in, installed so the change you, you will remark that the menu the icon is is transparent or quite transparent I would say because uh, first when you when you if you are have a, if you did, don't install the of cockpit you will have um, not say you don't necessarily need the of cockpit but because there is some ways you can not re, not necessary to install all the co all the files of the cockpit to have, have that thing thing but you will see it's quite transparent because in the previous if you don't well, what do you say? But by default, it will be blue. But nothing's changed. Everything is the same thing. So, the main changes that are wrong key again. So, the, f the major changes will be basically the buttons. As you can see, buttons aren't the same. And, uh, for example, the autopilot switch. Which is the IP autopilot engage which is will be the same and you see that knob uh, for example the auto brake it's such more realistic you have the you also have the transponder the, the spoke it um, which changes and and you have the, everything in the other panel that looks like it, it is more like a plane more real wrong key again so and um, I will just start the batteries because I want you to see the panels of it because they change they have changed also so sorry time we don't need all that to do everything changed a lot of things so we have to hit reference well for example at LFPG by Richard Gaulle, which we know well should be rocky well you'll see also when you click on things it will look different you see that um, it looks um, well how to describe it um, well it's it's different and to disengage your autopilot you have to click twice on on twice on the AP disengage button and now you see the panel textures has have changed also for the PFD mostly. You see that instead of having a um, um, well, um, it's I don't um brown that looks more I don't I don't know to describe the previous um, previous um, PFD. Because uh, that's has, it has been a long time since I have, because it's the one of the first things I've changed in my triple seven uh, during the months that that passed. So different texture, everything is different. Tex mostly textures and uh, there's some I mean, uh, and I will talk about also talk about uh, the issues that that you will have. 
so firstly, as you know, there is a bug text texture bug, and it's mostly visible in the copilot seat. You have a similar issue with well the captain seat. So that's all the changes, but also, as you can see, I have the mouse wheel active, but I can't, there is no mouse wheel, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, but that's fine. And, uh, well, I think that's all the changes that you can uh, see but, but the way to fly the aircraft is the same basically just the how the cockpit looks it's that's the, everything that I've changed if you install the pumper file so I hope that this video was helpful for you and uh, thanks for watching and and bye